When you get into the fall of the year in uh, November, December, January, February, most of the places of the south, a lot of the fishermen pretty much put up their plastic worms. And uh, I'm kind of like that. I mean, I catch a lot of fish in the wintertime fishing, maybe little shaky heads or a little Ned rig still. But uh, as far as just a regular plastic worm fishing, that well, we pretty much don't do it that much during the wintertime in the south. Um, we fish jigs, we fish spinner baits, we'll fish some little square bill crankbaits and some of the far southern places. But, uh, but let me tell you, don't give up on your soft plastics during the wintertime. I'm going to take this worm off right here. <laughs> this worm right here in the last couple of days, I caught 13 bass on that very worm. You see it's kind of a little bit shorter than it started out and the tail's been gone off, eat off of it. The bass ate the tails off of it. But here's what I like to do during the wintertime worm fishing. I will move to large worms. Now you're mostly going to catch a little bit above average fish in the wintertime. In fact, that's other times when you catch your very biggest bass of the year will be during the wintertime. But, but I like to move to big worms. I mean, that's the deal. Don't use the regular worms you're using all summer long. Move to big worms. And two of my favorites, one of them, this is a sneaky snake. This is my lucky strike. And this is a big worm. This worm is an 11-inch worm. And uh, it's, it's got a big snake-type tail on it. The other worm I use is a baby Huey. And this is a 10-inch worm. Now, there's not much difference in these worms. I know what you're thinking. It's an inch. That's the difference. <laughs> but the main difference is the tails. This is a sneaky snake. It's got a ripple tail. And the ripple tail goes, you know, starts here and it goes, it's about, about five inches of that worm is simply just a tail. The uh, baby Huey, Huey, all it's got is a, just a little... Uh, uh, I guess you'd call it just a little paddle tail type on it that moves a lot of water. These are two of my favorite, these are my two favorite worms to fish during the, the cool weather. And uh, our water temperature is down around 60 degrees here in southern Oklahoma right now. This is the two baits that I'm catching fish on right here. Mostly the reddish colors. Now, and in fishing those worms, I'm not fishing them on a shaky head. Not, I'm fishing them on just a regular Texas rig. That's right, just a regular Texas rig. And I've got a 3 8 ounce weight. And I'm fishing this 15 foot deep right now. And the reason I've got a 3 8 is I'm, I'm, I'm finding occasional grass patches at 15 foot of water. And that 3 8 will, will go ahead and, and work through that grass without burying down in it. It takes a little bit longer for it to get to the bottom. But that's another key during the wintertime. Make your baits fall slowly. So sometimes you're going to have to use a lot smaller slip sinker than you might use any other time to get down deeper. And I've got a, a 4 aught Daiichi hook on here, Jimmy Houston Daiichi hook. All I'm doing is Texas rigging this worm. So I'm coming in here about a half inch, winding that worm back through here. Now here's the, what, here's the big deal on Texas rigging. Uh, the big deal on Texas rig, of course, is once you have a fish hooked, he jumps, that weight falls away from it, and he doesn't have it there to help you throw the hook. But now here's what I do in Texas rigging worm. I skin hook them. So in other words, once I have this worm hooked up, I want it just like that with that hook all the way through the worm. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to come around, turn around upside down, put your finger right here where that, the end of that hook is, and then you want to stick the point right by where your finger is at a little bit of an angle all the way through and stick it all the way through the worm. You see what I've done right here? Now that hook is all the way through. Now I'm going to come up and right here. Now if I'm fishing open water, I'll just leave it like that. If I'm, if I'm fishing gravel or, or, or kind of a dirt bottom or a sand bottom, I'll just leave it just like that. If I'm fishing brush and grass and stuff like that I'm fishing right now, I'll come in and just move that a little bit and stick the point of that hook back in that worm. That makes that perfectly weedless. When a fish grabs a hold of it, he pushes that down. You got a good hook there to hook him right there. And so you want a Texas rig this time of the year. And this is the rig that I'm using. Now, I like to use painted slip sinkers. I buy these painted slip sinkers at Bass Pro Shop a little bit more expensive than just straight lead. I've caught a million bass on straight, non-painted slip sinkers. So it's not mandatory, I just like it. It looks better, I think it attracts the fish a little bit better. Color works in bass fishing, we all know that. And this is the way I rig it right there. That is a big 10 inch Lucky Strike Baby Huey worm. That and the sneaky stake. If you will go to those bigger worms in the winter time, you're throwing a bait that not many other people are throwing. They're throwing jigs, they're throwing big crankbaits, they're throwing big spinnerbaits. Not many of them are throwing soft plastic. Give them something they don't see every day, you're more likely to catch them.